Okay, in my most recent video, I demonstrated installing the Astro theme and a lot of the options for the header to go with a WooCommerce shop. In this video, I have the finished product of my practice site, and I wanted to show the settings that I used if you would like to duplicate them. This is a practice site called the Iron Lotus Yoga Shop, and uh, if you haven't installed the Astra theme, uh, check out the first video and uh, I'll leave it in the description. So we'll customize and we'll go to header builder and then you get these three rows. I didn't use the bottom row but you can add the widgets to these little spaces by just clicking the plus. I started with a light gray background on the second row and to get that you hit the gear design and use the background color here. You can also when you uh, look at just the only setting for this you can also adjust the height of the header if you want it larger or smaller. For the background color on this one you would do the same thing hit the little settings design background color you can also uh, drag or add the widget social here and then when you click that widget it brings up its settings add the uh, links to that by putting in the URL and then for the design here's my icon sizings here's the color here's the hover color so I use this icon on place it and I just stuck with the color scheme and you can see how nicely it turns out when you stick to a color scheme. Um, as long as the three colors work well together, I have this one and then the brown and then for my hover color I use this like kind of light pink. Anyway, uh, there's um, so there's that. The, uh, the first video I didn't really have a color scheme so I wanted to make this just to sh demonstrate how nice it can look. All right, so that's that row and that's the top row. And then next we have the menu. So to create a menu, um, go to the first video in the video description, but you got to back out and go to menus and create one. But when you actually put the menu here in the middle row and go to design, you'll see I use the zoom in. That makes it larger when you hover over it. And there's some other options there. But um, this right here is where you do the menu color text. Uh, this is the color, and then this is the hover color. I did not use an active color because I only have three pages, so I didn't want to throw off the the theme too much. And um, this is the cart widget here that I added by clicking the plus sign. And just click it or click the pencil here and I removed the the text added the color and I didn't mess with these here this is probably uh, for your WooCommerce pages so um, I was playing around with these and not a whole lot was happening so I'm guessing these settings down here are for a different page than this one so I just use this color here. And if you want it filled in all the time, you just click the fill. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for the logo itself, um, you'll notice that um, I just went with a simple no text logo. I got it from placeit.net and I'll leave a link in the video description. But what I did was I searched for wellness. If you look under logos it's, itself, you can see there's there's a like a hundred different categories to choose from. But I just clicked wellness, and then you have these options here: all categories, mock-ups, like T-shirt designs, videos. So there's a ton of different options to uh, drill down once you search for wellness. And then when you scroll down and you find like one that you kind of like, like say this one here, you'll see that 
it already starts out with like a nice design and a color scheme. So if you need a color scheme, you can use theirs. And then you scroll down here on the side and you can see it's already searching for a graphic yoga. And um, this one is similar to the one I had, but it's further down. Anyway, that's the one I used right there. So you, you can take the background and uh, get rid of the background for a transparent background. You can get rid of the text here if you just want. But it'll say, sorry, you need some text. So what you can do is you can just put that down here to where it's completely off the page. And then you, and then you download it. And then uh, you can either crop it on your computer or crop it in WordPress when you put it in for your logo. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to show off, place it a little bit more. It's it's one of the most amazing resources for your uh, for your shop, and um, it, one of the most helpful things for your shop is to get uh, mock-ups. So if you have like a t-shirt shop, or you have like a yoga bag that you want to sell, or or even if your yoga shop has a logo, you could put the logo on the t-shirt and then put it on your site so that's super helpful too if you look at um once i publish i used a lot of the mock-ups for my real site for this practice site so um these designs i created uh some of them on place it some of them uh i created with help on fiverr and i'll leave some links in the video description below and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the links in the video description. And if you found this helpful, you can support with a like, sub, or comment.